Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Learning. Today we are going to cover part 18 which contains foundational behavioral terminologies. So this video is going to be a little longer as you can see there are lots of terms that we have to cover today which include extinction, extinction burst, spontaneous recovery, deprivation, satiation, stimulus, discriminative stimulus, stimulus control, response, motivating operation, establishing operation, and setting events. So let's get started. Even though these are lots of terms, but you can, uh, you can guess by the name of it and it will be easy for you to remember by this. So by the term extinction, we talk about things that do not exist anymore. And when we talk about extinction in ABA, it is the process of reducing or eliminating a behavior by withholding the reinforcement that previously maintained it. So basically we are not talking about the behavior that has been reduced or eliminated alone, but it was being maintained by reinforcement before and then you are stopping the reinforcement, you are withholding the reinforcement and because of withholding the reinforcement, the behavior is reduced or eliminated. That's why we will call it extinction in ABA. That behavior will be known as the extinction behavior. For example, ignoring a child tantrum that were previously reinforced with attention. So a child's tantrum were reinforced uh, as it um, as child was receiving attention again and again. Then you stopped giving attention. You, uh, what did you do? You were withholding the reinforcement. So this way, by withholding the reinforcement, by ignoring the tantrums, by ignoring the tantrums, the behavior was eliminated or reduced. Extinction burst. So by the name burst, it means a sudden or temporary increase. A temporary increase in the intensity or frequency of behavior when reinforcement is initially withdrawn. So, uh, keeping the example here, the child's tantrum were ignored. Now, there will be a extinct. There will be an extinction burst. There will be a sudden increase in the tantrum. The child will show more and more tantrum when you will start ignoring because you are not giving attention and the child wants it. So there will be an extinction burst that just give me the attention. It does not mean that, that the behavior is not going to eliminate. Instead, it simply means that the process of extinction is working because there is appearance of extinction burst also. There, that there is a temporary increase in intensity or frequency of that behavior because you were withholding the reinforcement. Example, a child's tantrum may worsen before they start to decrease when no longer reinforced. Spontaneous recovery. The reappearance of a previously extinguished behavior after a period of time without reinforcement. Now, uh, as we said, again, the tantrum were reduced, the tantrum were eliminated. Even though you are not giving the reinforcement, after a period of time, there might be a spontaneous recovery of the same behavior of the tantrum we were talking about in our example. He might uh, show the tantrum again for a while. This will be known as spontaneous recovery of the behavior. Extinction was eliminated behavior when reinforcement were, re, um, when reinforcement were removed. Extinction burst was temporary increase in intensity or frequency of the behavior. Spontaneous recovery is reappearance of the extinguished behavior deprivation as the name indicate dep uh, deprivation deprive lack the lack of access to a reinforcer increases its effectiveness so for example you have a client and chocolate is a reinforcer for the client you will ask the parents uh, not to give the child uh, chocolate at home this way the value of chocolate will increase for the client this way the effectiveness of the reinforcement will increase because the client is knowing the value because he is not having easy access to the reinforcer example food becomes a stronger reinforcer when the person has not eaten in hours when you are hungry only then you can value the food more 
if you are already full you won't be valuing food as much as you were valuing before so deprivation lack of easy access lack of access will increase the value or effectiveness of reinforcer satiation the condition in which a reinforcer becomes less effective after repeated exposure or consumption so satiation is basically the opposite of deprivation deprivation was lack of access meanwhile satiation is over consumption or repeated exposure and this way the reinforcer will become less effective it's quite a regular term quite a common term used in aba and it stimulus basically refers to change in environment any event or change in environment which affects behavior for example a ringing bell stimulative stimulus refers to a cue or signal that a specific behavior will be reinforced so basically it is a change in the environment that refers to the availability of reinforcer pressing a lever will result in food so basically if any stimulus is not giving you a cue as the availability of reinforcer it won't be the discriminative stimulus it will be the delta stimulus or stimulus delta stimulus is a stimulus that is discriminating that is giving the cue that the behavior will be reinforced it signals the availability of reinforcer stimulus control refers uh, is related to the history of reinforcement that a particular behavior was reinforced already so it has the power it has the control while hand raising was uh, reinforced in a class so the child will start learning to raise their hand and this will be their stimulus control hand raising will be the uh, hand raising in uh, that teacher's class would be the stimulus control response a specific instance of behavior for example uh, someone say uh, someone gives you something and you say thank you this is a response but uh, a specific instance of behavior is response and lots of instances lots of res uh, responses becomes a behavior motivating operations environmental events that alter the value of a reinforcer and the likelihood of a behavior associated with it so motivating operations can increase or decrease even the value of a reinforcement example the deprivation food deprivation will increase the reinforcing value of food and food satiation will decrease the reinforcing value of food so these will be the motivating operation related to these establishing operation so we are currently talking about establishing operation but there is also a term known as abolishing operation uh, in basically motivating operation has two categories Uh, establishing operation and abolishing operation establishing operation are the type of motivating operation that increases the value of a reinforcer and abolishing operation are the type of motivating operation that decreases the value of a reinforcer example of eo or establishing operation include deprivation of sleep makes rest more reinforcing setting events contextual or environmental condition that influence behavior so setting events can also be can also refer to antecedent uh, the events that are influencing the behavior for example a noisy classroom may increase disruptive behavior in students talk about each term in one words to revise and then we will cover the mcqs extinction elimination of behavior when reinforcement is stopped extinction burst would be the spontaneous increase in in uh, spontaneous increase in intensity or frequency of behavior spontaneous recovery will be the reappearance of an extinguished behavior deprivation will be lack of access and satiation will be overconsumption stimulus change in the environment discriminative stimulus the stimulus that gives uh, that the stimulus that signals the availability of reinforcer
stimulus control refers uh, to the stimulus in the presence of which behavior is more likely to occur response as uh, <coughs> instance of behavior motivating operation the stimulus that alter the value of reinforcer establishing operation that increases the value of reinforcer and set setting events environmental condition that influence the behavior coming towards the mcqs what is extinction in behavior analysis you can pause the video read the options and answer by yourself and then resume the video to see or confirm the answer withholding the reinforcement that previously maintained a behavior of the following describes an extinction burst an increase in the intensity or frequency of behavior when reinforcement is initially withdrawn what is spontaneous recovery the reappearance of an extinguished behavior after a period without reinforcement what does deprivation refer to in behavior analysis the condition of lacking access to a reinforcer increases increasing its effectiveness which example best illustrates satiation a child stops playing with toys after receiving too many Which of the following is an example of a discriminative stimulus ST A bell that signals food is ready What does stimulus control refer to The presence of a stimulus increases the likelihood of a behavior due to past reinforcement Which of the following describes a response? A specific instance of behavior. What is a motivating operation? MO. An event that alters the value of a reinforcer and the likelihood of behavior associated with it. Which of the following is an example of an establishing operation? EO. a child becoming more willing to eat a snack after not eating for hours which scenario best illustrates a setting event a child misbehaves in class because the environment is noisy and chaotic what happens during satiation the reinforcing value of a stimulus decreases due to over exposure or consumption so this was all about today hope it was easy to understand thank you for watching